Alright, um, today at the very least we're going to be installing the processor into the motherboard. Um, I actually had this whole computer completely built and then I found a better way how to do this. So, um, what I did is I deleted all the videos. <laughs> so I'm starting all over again. Nothing new. Uh, but I found a better way to join this. Uh, I found uh, an empty container of Vice T-Mix. And I figured out, I stacked one on top of one I already got. Um, that makes an excellent platform for my video camera. Uh, so, I have a better way of shooting this now. And inside the case, too. So, that's what we're going to do. Today we're going to be installing the, mother the uh, processor on the motherboard. Um, as you know, um, AMD 3000 processors are out, um, but, you know, I'm still a little ways away from that. Uh, for that, I will need a graphics card, so I had to make a design choice here. Um, do I want to go with Ryzen, Ryzen 5 2600, or do I want to, you know, eventually end up with the Ryzen 3000 series, the 3600? I'm going for that Ryzen 5 3600 series. But I need something for right now. Um, allows me some time to build some cash up to buy the graphics card and that processor. And this thing has is an APU. It is the AMD Ryzen 5. Uh, Ryzen 5. 2400G. I had to look at the box actually. I asked for it. <laughs> Um, that's what we're going to be installing. I don't need a graphics card. Um, it has graphics built in already. And it will do pretty well. You know, it's got four physical cores, four virtual cores. And it will do just fine for right now. Uh, eventually I will be putting in that bigger processor and the graphics card. But for now, you know, this will do just fine. So we're going to take this out of the box. And I know I already showed you what's inside the box here. Okay. Um, I have a heat pump in here. I've got me a liquid cooler in here waiting to be installed. So we are not going to be using this thing. Okay. We are not going to be using the included, included fan. I could, I could save, you know, the, uh, the water block that I bought, you know, for the actual rest of the computer, but I want to get that water block up and running and bit, and broke in a little bit, you know, before I, you know, really turn on the guns here. So this here will do just fine, um, but we're not going to use this fan here at all. We're going to go ahead and put the water block on it, simply because I don't want to later have to shoot that video too. So this part won't be used. So now you may be wondering, uh, all these boxes, what happened to all these boxes like this? So far, every single one I've thrown out, um, I've had to process, okay? And the reason I had to process it is because all the boxes, like the motherboard box, the uh, power supply box, and all these other, and the, um, I trust three boxes so far, the motherboard box, the uh, power supply box and the hard drive box. Okay, the SSD in it. And every single one of them, um, as is, can't be recycled here. That's kind of the bad news. Okay. Um, those three boxes, um, they are made of cardboard, which is recyclable, obviously, but they have a plastic film over them. And here in my city, uh, that's not recyclable. So to make all those boxes recyclable, what I ended up having to do is I ended up having to peel off that plastic film on all those boxes. And it was hard getting some of, some of it off. But as it was, I couldn't just simply recycle the old boxes, you know, because that plastic film on it. My city doesn't, you know, take that type of uh, cardboard. It's either, you know, cardboard like this, you know, with no film on it, or it can't be recycled. So I had to peel off all that plastic film and made the box look pretty just to recycle the boxes. But so far, three of the boxes have been recycled. The plastic film that coated all those boxes are a total loss, but so far we have recycled all the boxes. 
so far. Uh, my friend has called dibs on the water block box because it's a nice big box and she can store stuff in it. So that box won't get recycled. She's going to make use of it. So in a way, it still gets recycled. Okay. And it's fine. It's a nice big sturdy box. It locks nicely. Good deal. But we are going to be installing the processor. So we're not using this guy here. I don't know what I'll do with it, but, you know, we aren't using it. So now that we have explained that, we are going to show the new way how I'm shooting things. Okay. Now uh, we're going to take this up here. Okay. Now yeah, it just will hold still for me. I'm going to have to fiddle with it just a minute here. Hi on. All right. Will you stay there, please? Like I said, my hardware is getting old. Um, doing this video has literally the limits of what I can do. That's what I got. So, um, you know, it is what it is. It's not the greatest solution, but it is what it is. Okay. So, I will probably get a brand new webcam that does full 1080p. So whenever I build a new computer, this will be a lot better quality here. Okay. Now we're going to be installing this processor. Let me get it up there. Where's my camera? Where's my camera? I got to find my camera. All right. We're going to be installing this guy. This guy. Into here. Okay. Now installing a uh, processor onto a motherboard is not hard. Not hard at all. This is one of the easiest things that anybody can do. Okay. And I'll show you how it's done. Okay. First take the processor out. Now the processors for AMD are pin designs. Okay. And I'll show you what that means. Unlike Intel chips. Where is my... Uh, maybe I'll get a little closer here. Let's see if I can get it closer. Let's see if it'll even focus. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, I'm going to try and hold it steady there. Maybe I'm just too close. I am not even fraying there. Let me turn it sideways. Maybe you can see it a little better. Get my big fat fingers out of the way. Alright. Where's my camera at? How about I just back this up real quick? Maybe I can get the focus better that way. Okay. Now, any processors. Where are you? Any processors. I think I'm just going to try to. Alright, why can I not get this to show? Alright, let's go back to the table here, shall we? Maybe I can show you the, this way here. Alright. Now, AMD processors, unlike Intel, they use what's called a pinout design. Okay? Um, and all that is, and these are real gold pins on the bottom, so you know. Um, and I'll get this as close up to the camera. It's hopefully it'll focus. Maybe you'll be able to see those pins on it. They're really, really tiny. They're really, really tiny. I'm not going to kid you. Okay? Unfortunately, it's gold, so it's highly reflective. But I don't know. Can you see those pins on there? All right. There we go. So we'll just focus. Alright, maybe you can see those pins. I don't know. I am to use it. It's called a pin, a, pin, a pin array. Okay. These are just little tiny pins. Okay. Now these little pins here, um, everybody gets freaked out about pins. Okay. And in the old days when both Intel and AMD used pins, both used pins, Sometimes you get a processor with a bent pin, okay? 
And everyone's like, oh, no, it's ruined. Send it back to the manufacturer. <laughs> no, you don't have to do that, okay? Um, if you got a bent pin, all you do is you take a little butter knife, and you just very, very, and I do mean very, very carefully bend that pin back into shape. All right, remember, these are gold. These are pure gold, okay? So, um, if you very carefully take your butter knife, you just carefully bend the pin, you get it back in place, no problem. And that should be the end of the story. Froster will work just fine. Okay? Ideally, you don't want any bent pins at all here. Um, but if you bend the pin, it's not a big deal. Okay? Not a big deal. Okay? You just, you know, do what I tell you. You know, just take a little exacto knife or a little butter knife and very carefully just bend it back into place again. It's gold, it'll bend, okay? Just be careful you don't go and give it the Godzilla twist. You know, then you'll break a pin, then your processor is ruined, okay? But a bent pin is not a bad, is not, you know, end of the world. A busted pin is, so, you know, keep that in mind. All right, now, to install this processor here, all right, I'm going to get kind of close here so you can see this. Where's my camera at? Alright, so now, alright, now, you see that little gold triangle right there? My finger is pointing? Alright, now the gold triangle, that tells you which way to situate the processor, okay? And on the motherboard socket, it also has another triangle just like it. And that tells you how to put the processor in, which way. These processors only go in one way, okay? So... That little, that little uh, tr cold triangle there, it's got to go in the same direction as the uh, triangle in the CPU socket. So we're going to put this in real quick, okay? And you'll be surprised how fast this is going to go, okay? I promise. All right, now if we can get our handy dandy camera to hold still, we're going to shine a light on the matter here, okay? Now we're going to zoom in. Oh, it's already taken 12 minutes. Alright, well, it's geared for a longer video this time. But won't be the first time, won't be the last time. But sometimes you just got to explain things, okay? Alright, now the definition of my webcam won't allow me to show you where that pen is. And that's fine, okay? That's fine. So, um, the first thing you do, is you see this little metal bar here? It's right here, okay? What you do is you take it, and you lift it out. It just comes right out, just like that. You see that? Yeah, lift it right up. Comes right out. You just got to pull it. Be gentle. You don't want to give this to Godzilla pull, okay? And now what you do is you find where that triangle is. And that triangle is right where my finger is. Okay? So we take our processor and we find the gold pin and we just simply line it up. Now these are zero insertion force processors. Okay? So if you need to add force, you're doing it wrong. Okay? Alright. Now, normally, I would be doing this with the gravity assist, but I'm not. So I'm showing you how it's done here. All right, now that went right in. No problem, it's in. All right. That's in there, okay. Now, gravity is not helping me here because it's, you know, standing vertically. So I got to hold this in while I close it. And all you do is you just take that little locking clamp, and that is in. Whoops. As I said, you got to take that little locking clamp. And you got to push it usually out a little bit when you're closing it. And then back in. Okay. It goes kind of like, it goes kind of like, you know, in a half circle. Okay. You come down, then you got to kind of pull it out a little bit. And then you got to push it in a little bit at the end. Okay. And that's how you put one of these guys in. So now we have our Ryzen 3000 
Ryzen 2000 2400G processor in there. So that is now mounted. It's now waiting for a cooling solution. So, you know, that step is done. Yay! Alright, until the next video.